Hello sir. So today we can see about the Google Forms and its functioning. And uh, last time I have uploaded one video. There are uh, many viewers uh, commented and uh, sent me the message. It was not clear. There was some technical problem in my recording and laptop. I think now I'm going to again show you from the mobile so you can uh, see it very clearly. Okay. So if you don't subscribe my uh, channel, please subscribe and give a like if you like my channel and share. Uh, so first we can open the Google Chrome and you just type the Google Forms. So you can uh, do it in the laptop also in the email you can open your Google Drive. In my drive option if you open you can get that uh, uh, Google Forms option is there. Blank form you can open in the Google Drive you can do it okay. And here when we open this Google Form there are first one you can see here. Uh, Google Forms you can leave that one and second one you can see the Google Forms see here Google Forms free online service for personal use okay so you can click the second option so the page opens like this uh, personal and G Suite you leave the G Suite for business and personal is there so you can click this Google go to Google Forms So the page opens like this. The page opens like this. Okay. So if you the dashboard also the form is there. And here also start a new form. The plus mark is there. Right. So you can see start a new form. The plus mark is there. You just click that one. So the form is opened now. Okay. So this is a Google form. And first we have to write one title here. I am just to try, type one uh, title of the lesson Transport in Human so along with that I can type Worksheet 1 so Worksheet 1 I have typed here okay so in the first box if you see Transport in Human uh, Worksheet 1 and below that form description is there okay so now we have to some uh, setting options we have to on some setting options uh, so to collect the email address and uh, it make it as a quiz form it make it as a MCQ form of this one okay so let us see now uh, you can see there are three four options are here the first one and second you can third one is the uh, settings option and next is the send okay so you can click the settings option so there are three options here one general and the next is the presentation and third one is the quizzes okay three options are the general presentation and quizzes so first we can open the general and you can see in general collect email address put the click and next one you can see the limit to one response it means that uh, students can respond for the question paper only one time or many times okay so you can keep it is limit to one time otherwise students will do again and again uh, attend the questions it may give us confusion so edit after submit if you want to give and see summary charts also we can give. I have clicked these three here. Next we can, sorry. So we can give the save option here. Save option is there. So again we can go to the settings and presentation is there. So the first option, so progress bar, shuffle question order. If you want to shuffle the question, you can shuffle the question numbers also. And the last one is the quizzes. So quizzes you can click. So if you click the quizzes, everything, all this is on, okay. So you can just leave it and give the save option, okay. In this last, you can see. So save option is there, bottom side, you can just click it, okay. So now you can see this transported animals, only form description earlier it was there, but it is added email address also now the students can enter the email address then only they can submit a form if they don't attend uh, give the email address they can't submit a form okay and then you see the next box we can go just to click this next box so here we can write the name of the students okay so i am just typing uh, first name you can write name also no problem so name I have typed and after typing this name here there is a column see 
there is option short answer automatically it is changing so here there are lot of options are there short answer paragraph multiple choice check boxes drop down and okay so name it is a short answer multiple choice means we can choose this multiple choice option so short answer is there so next to frame for the next question box we have to open for that you can see the right side there is a plus mark is there click this plus mark so the next one is open and we can write a question here number one i am just writing one question what is your name so what's your name i have written okay so we made it a, this is a short answer is there right so we already made a quiz we have to make it so quizzes is there so say we have to give okay so automatically it will change into multiple choice so we can change it into multiple choice okay so option one is there so you can type here a wrong so option b we can type a joe and this one is a raj and fourth option is kumar so the four option is given okay but the answer key is not it's not visible here you can see here so that what should you do you know now again that the option uh, setting option we did not click clearly okay so go go again settings and quizzes make this as a quiz you can see the make this as a quiz click this that's all okay now you can give save option you can give the save option okay it is automatically changing multiple choice now you can see here the question answer key option is there see first answer key app option was not there now answer key option is here okay so the answer is the correct answer is the kumar okay so click this answer key and write the kumar tick in the kumar option yeah the answer we have given after that the mark is given point is here you can see so you can give one mark here okay point you can change it into one mark or two mark whatever may be so after finishing these things okay now you can see the frame so question number one what's your name four options given correct answers we clicked and then the no, marks given then done option is there the corner you can see the done click this done that's all okay so once click the done nearby the done option required will come click this button so required means then only if the students can complete this question only they can submit it okay the next question one more question i will show you question number two what's your father name what's your father name okay so here you see we can give again the quiz multiple choice okay so here we can type the answers uh, raj option b is money option 3 is uh, done uh, sorry uh jo option 4 is and so four option is given here you can see clearly so now i'm clicking the answer key so answer we have to give jo is the answer we can so click on the jo and a point we can give one point one mark next we can uh, give done option so required option also we have to give that's all okay so now finish to see like that we can do the question so if you click the plus mark again next box will open so now two questions we have completed and the marks also will come in the top you can see uh, the total points two is coming here okay so this is the questions and the responses is there if the student responded uh, here the number will come responses 1 2 3 like this okay here you we can change you can, we can do one settings here click the responses
if you click responses uh, this right hand corner side three dots are there click that dot get email notification from new response you can click it so once the students attend the question submit the question it comes to your mail immediately uh, the submission with mark everything okay so here we have given the answer key in the question so when the students attend the student is also getting instant marks okay so here the select response destination it's we can create one uh, sheet here okay so it ask see that uh, sorry so select response destination you can give the option create so it automatically create the spreadsheet and uh, it will be stored in your google drive google drive and where the marks and students name everything will come okay so that's all now you can see uh, this is very easy only so everything is here okay first name and i will show you one so now this untitled form is there you can see here the top side left hand corner that will be the title of this form okay see this untitled form is there you just click it so the what is typed here it will come automatically so that will be shown in your uh, uh, google drive okay that's all and if you click the send option now send option is there if you click this uh, you can get the link also here okay see here send send via email link is asking okay so you can just click this link so you can get the link here see the link and again shorten link option is there you can make shorten link so it becomes a small size so press ctrl c to copy or we can just copy this okay you can press it and copy okay and you can uh, send through the mail or you can send to the whatsapp whatever maybe students can see this worksheet easily that's all okay uh, now i will show you one uh, one of one worksheet okay and now you can see you can just decorate this worksheet also she this uh, see uh, next to the settings you can see three icons are there the first one you see this one click this one if you click this one it will ask okay choose image is asking so you can give choose image i'll just uh, set up one photo now see uh, some uh, pictures you can any pictures you can keep so i am keeping this picture just see here you can see here now that worksheet becomes very colorful okay you can keep your students pictures or whatever maybe and the color also now side the blue color is there now it is changed into green you can change any other color red color i have changed so the worksheet full will become red color you can see the border becomes everything red color or the dog this this color also okay so any color you can change any color so you can change the pictures also so this is the one uh, we can uh, complete it now the google worksheet i will show you one sample worksheet from my mail so this is i am doing from the mobile phone you can do it in the desktop also or in, the, in your uh, laptop it is easily you can do it okay so this is the worksheet you can see So this is one uh, worksheet I will just show you. See this is the worksheet. Transport in animals. So the questions are here. You can see 10 questions typed here. And uh, 10 marks is here. You can see 10 marks total points. Uh, you can see the responses. Okay, 12 students responded. So if you click these responses, what are the students responded? We can see now I am just clicking this response. You can see all the details will come so the student question and correct responses everything will come email address is here you can see the email addresses of the students and then you can see the first name of the students you can see here the name of the students will come who are the students okay so the marks will be here in the email address and and the marks see that email address and the score also will come out of 10 
so this is the option release scores if you click again uh, students can get the result from your side okay it will go directly to their mail and the name of the students also here everything will come in the response okay all question each and every question graphical representation will co come here that evaluation so everything automatically uploaded here okay so this is in the responses this is the question if you click this question will come so if you click responses all these details we can see so now uh, that res that ends that uh, spreadsheet i will show you the spreadsheet okay how the google is uh, uh, getting the spreadsheet we will see now So see this one, uh, 12 students have submitted, right? Let us see uh, how the, see this one. So this is the spreadsheet we can say, the student's name, time of the submission, and the marks, see the marks, and the questions, everything will be here in the spreadsheet or uh, email, uh, sorry, uh, Excel sheet, okay? So this also will be the, so to get this spreadsheet, I told you already, Uh, this is one worksheet you can see uh, just decorated with some pictures like this okay this is one worksheet i am just showing so here you see um, responses you can click so these three dots are there right click these three dots and you can see here uh, create option is there see once again i will show you so click this after response clicking response you can see the three dots in the uh, near to this green mark you just click this so get an email notification you can get once they attend the question and select response destination you click so create option is there right side corner top you can see click that one that's all then that spreadsheet will be automatically uploaded So you can see in this uh, worksheet uh, almost uh, <coughs> 22 students, see 22 students responded, given answer. From this we can find out very easily how many students attended these questions. Okay, uh, okay thank you very much for your watching and uh, if you have any doubts and all you can just message me, the description number is given. And uh, if you like this video, please give your uh, likes, share, subscription and comment. Thank you. Bye.